Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. So this video is going to be a wedding haul video. Now, my wedding is in November of next year, so it's a, a year away, but um, in a re on a recent trip to Michael's, I kind of picked some stuff up, also ordered some stuff online. So not very like crucial things, you know, just like decorational things. So I decided to share what, I, what I've what i purchased so far with you guys. So um, this is going to be what I ordered from Michaels. So I was uh, there with my mom recently, about like less than a month ago. And I went, we were walking by and we ended up in the bridal section of Michaels, or like the wedding section of Michaels. And I saw this and I was like, so cute, need to have it. And it is this celebrated uh, placeholder, placeholder place I cannot even read place card holders so look at how cute it is it is just like diamonds um, on the bottom here and you put it on the table and then on the top you put your um, place card right up here so if it's a little dirty it is a little dirty it was on the floor and I got two of them they bring six each um, so I have 12 right now I don't know if that's more than I'll need or what yet because I still haven't even sent out like the save the dates or any of that stuff so again I just kind of picked things up because I thought it was cute um so yeah so that's what I'm showing you I am very big on DIY stuff like I am a very big crafter I like to do things myself I just like the sense of achievement you get once you've accomplished something so I decided I decided that I was going to do a lot of things for my own wedding you know like I decided I'm going to create my own bouquet as well as the maid of honors and bridesmaid bouquets and even some of the centerpiece bouquets bouquets some of the centerpieces so as I still don't know yet if I want to do like all flowers for centerpieces or like flowers and then candles and then flowers and you know like um alternating between candles and flowers for the centerpieces I still don't know yet I mean I still have a lot of time to figure that out but in order to start you need essential tools so I have I bought two mini glue guns here they were pretty inexpensive at Michael's I think they were about like three dollars each or something and this I bought purple and a pink one obviously I might get a few more because what I'm thinking of doing is of like close to maybe like around January or February just having like a girls night and we just all do like crafts and stuff like for the wedding um then I also decided that I'm going to do my own invitations and I will show you guys in a second what I bought to do that but as I was perusing through uh Michael's I saw this and I thought it was pretty cool and I'm also a crafter so even if I don't use it for the invitations I'm pretty sure I'll use it for something and it is the Martha Stewart Crafts Scallop 3 Dot Puncher I want to say it's just called Punch Around the Page but pretty much what it is is this paper puncher and it punches in these designs so look at how cool that is and in the back it kind of shows you like the steps like first you use this one then you do that and then you go all around or all around and then you'll do all this stuff sorry for background noises um my parents are doing some stuff in the back then um i bought some things in target or on target i want to say because i bought it all nine and there is a company called sugar paper and they have like planners and like um stationary type of things so when i was looking at what they had and making my order i saw that they had this and it is the planner notes so it's the 2016 it's from january to december of 2016 and it is this very pretty blush color which is actually one of the colors in my wedding so i decided to get it because it's it's the blush color and also it's very cool um notebook so in it it has like the holidays and like pages where you can put like contacts and stuff so I was even thinking of using that for the guest list because it does have a lot of space for the guest list like it has this page this page this page it's like three pages of like I want to say 30 lines each so it's more than enough for for our wedding then it also has all of the calendars for like it has a, a monthly view from January until December and on the top, I don't know if you can see, but it has like little polka dots. Very cute, like in the blush color. Very, very cute. And I like the size of this because it's like a little mini notebook. And you can take it with you like on your in your purse or stuff. And it doesn't add bulk. 
and then they have in here like uh, to divide the sections little um, folders which I really like with the same polka dot uh, pattern and then it has um, lists to do or well, not list to do but list so then it has a notes page right here and then next to it it has a list page and it's divided into three columns which I really like because you can either do it by the columns or you can just do it straight down I started one for December and I'm just going straight down um, I'm not really separating it into the three columns but I'm pretty sure as the time gets nearer and I have a lot more stuff to do and to like make sure go right that I will utilize it by like columns so yeah, after the calendar, it is just those notes and list pages all the way through, and there's a lot of it. So I really like this um, in accordance, like with the Erin um, Condren planner that I bought, because that one doesn't really have a lot of space to write notes and stuff, and this one does. So I kind of like that, because then the Erin Condren one I can use um, to write down like important dates and appointments and things of that nature, and kind of use it more like a scrapbook, because I can take photos and connect, like put it in my don't know what they're doing outside but it's driving me crazy sorry about the noise um, but I can use it as a scrapbook and um, attach photos on the inside of it and it'll just look really cute and then this one I can use more to, like for my actual like um, planner or like to take it with me if I have any notes in here and or I need to like speak to a vendor or something probably take this same company makes this really cute folder right here and it is the same blush color and it is just a folder where you open it and you just put all sorts of things inside then from the library um on the recommendation of my friend noelle hi noelle if you're watching this she watches my videos she was like a really good book that you should read is this one it's the broke ass brides <laughs> wedding guide and look at how cute this is and so far i read a few like of the chapters because you can skip whatever obviously doesn't pertain to what you're trying to do so this is really good i really like it so far and she's like blunt like the way she writes it's like a friend is talking to you it's not like one of these other books where it's very like structured and like okay so if you don't want to do this just simply cut out like no she's like i don't know like let's be honest here blah, 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 blah. like you know it's just like more of like a friend is talking to you speaking of books you know i love my books so as i said i want to make my own bouquet and the bouquets of the my bridal party and even the centerpieces so i bought this book from hobbylobby.com i wanted a book to just simply tell me like how to arrange flowers and like what do i need to do and things of that nature i'm making my flowers so i'm making them out of like crepe paper and um fabric so this book even though it uses real flowers and it just shows you like step by step how to do it it's really good because it shows you step by step how to do it so this is the simple flower arranging step by step designs and techniques by mark welford and stephen wicks this is what it looks like it's very good I some of these I'm already like oh, I need to do this like so pretty like look it shows you how to do these type of things like these are the carnation balls is what it's called look at how gorgeous that is you can obviously customize it to your colors and it's just really pretty things in here and then the last thing that I got is to actually make my invitation so I'm not a very good like techie person which might surprise a lot of people but I'm really not like into like technology as much I'm into like making my own things which makes more sense for me um but I did get this because I wanted to try my hand at making my own uh invitations if all else fails I'll just get it like on one of these websites like wedding diva papers or wedding paper divas something like that or minted.com or something of that nature but if I can make it myself, then even better because I would save us like a few hundred dollars because wedding invitations are kind of expensive. So what I'm talking about is the Cameo Silhouette. And this is really cool because you can also use it for other things. Like if you are a planner girl, you would know that Etsy is like a very good place to buy stickers. And all those girls um, print their stickers and make their stickers off of this um, machine. So here you can, and you can make like t-shirts from this, you can make like, put, like not make t-shirts, but you can print on t-shirts, you can like do so many different things, probably a lot of things I don't even know about yet. So I'm really excited, I'm going to start like 
just playing around with it because there is a lot to learn and like trial and error type of thing with this so I do want to like obviously know what I'm doing by the time it comes for me to make my invitations so yes um I haven't gotten anything else that's like major um besides really this and then like the place card holders but that's not really like anything major I do have some crepe paper that I've ordered to start making the um the flowers these i just got off of amazon and this is the melissa francis crepe paper and th they bring three colors white cream and pink because pink again is well blush is one of the colors that i'm using but pink you could have different um sorts of pink and also uh green is going to be my other color so i'm waiting on those uh the green ones to come so i'm really excited i really i'm dying for my uh, all of my orders to come in. I placed orders on like Michael's and I think Hobby Lobby or something or Joann's and I'm just waiting for all my stuff to come in so I can start creating things for the wedding. So it's a very exciting phase. I haven't had a meltdown yet which is uh, I'm nervous to have a meltdown. Every book that I read even including this one like the broke broke ass um, brides one all of them are saying the same thing. They're like you are gonna have a meltdown like meltdowns are inevitable like you are gonna have a bridezilla moment you're gonna have this and i'm just like that is definitely not my personality but if every single book is telling me that like it's kind of scary i hopefully don't ever have that moment but i'm pretty sure my bridesmaids and my friends and family will tell me like you need to relax because you're having a moment right now and i'll just be like <laughs> okay so <laughs> really exciting things i hope you guys like these videos if you do let me know down below um i'm trying to make them every two weeks but sometimes like things are things don't happen as quickly so if it's not every two weeks it's every three weeks that i will have a wedding wednesday video again i'm super sorry for that background noise it's really irking me so i want to cut this video off right now um so thank you all so much for watching all my links will be down below i will try to leave the names of everything or if, if i could find links and stuff i'll leave those for you guys so I will see you in my next video.